the sound of the piano is quite energetic. And of course, it greatly depends on the pianist, but also on the instrument itself. The piano is a very beautiful instrument composed of many elements the strings, the soundboard, the pedals, and what we call the piano action. The piano action is the mechanical transmission between the key, where the pianist presses with his or her finger, up to the string to produce the sound. This complex system is made of many elements body made of wood, felt, leather, and so on. This system is highly dynamical, meaning that if I press down slowly the key, I don't produce any sound. I have to put some acceleration, some dynamics to the system to produce the sound. On acoustic pianos, we feel a specific haptic feeling when we press on the key here, and this specific force feedback in the finger is due to the mechanical transmission itself, the dynamic behavior of this system. Digital pianos have outstanding sound qualities, but do not have the same quality of touch, of haptic feedback, because they don't contain those kind of piano action. While the sound of the piano is crucial, the touch is also essential for the pianist. And this touch can be expressed in many ways. Too heavy, too soft, not very controllable, too slow. This is valid for the acoustic piano, but also for the digital piano. However, the digital keyboards do not have the same performances, the same quality of touch as the acoustic piano. For example, for the fast repetition capabilities of the double escape note for the acoustic piano action. And for the digital keyboard, The goal of my work was to design a haptic device to improve the touch of digital pianos by reproducing the acoustic piano action touch. The multibody approach is used in many fields of mechanical engineering, for example, railway or road vehicles, biomechanic systems like the human body, robots, and in our case, piano action. The principle of the multibody approach is that we have complex systems which contain bodies connected by joints. Those systems can contain kinematic loops, can be subjected to external forces, and so on. The basic principle is that for each body of the system, we have to solve the Newton and Euler equations. In our case, we have created a multibody model of the piano action, which contains all the morphology of the system, bodies, springs, stops, and so on. Of course, we need the parameters, the physical parameters of all those elements. For that, we have dismantled the piano action, we have measured the masses, the inertia, the dimension. But more interestingly, we have characterized the contact force between the elements in the systems. For example, between the jack and the hammer, we have characterized the normal force between those two components. Furthermore, we have characterized the friction in the joints, for example, for the hammer joint. With that, we have all the set of physical parameters we need for our multibody model. We wanted to compare our multibody model to experiments, so we used a high-speed camera to capture the action kinematics under a well known mass input of 1 kg, and it has allowed us to compare our experiment and our multibody model in group 1. We wanted to go deeper in the validation, so we created the non-made force sensor that was used to measure the force inside the system, and it has allowed us to measure the dynamic force inside the system and to compare again our model and our experiment. So our multibody model is validated in both in kinematics and in tightness. Thanks to that, we can sense the, the, 
the force continuously, as you can see here on the computer. So if I press on the key, you can see that we have a measure of, a measure of the force, um, the vertical force here between the, the key and the, and the weapon. Now that we have validated our multi-grid model, we can use it to understand how it works and to show its function. To improve the touch of digital keyboards, we used the haptic feedback approach. Based on the key kinematics captured by motion sensor, the multibody model of the piano action computes the force to be used by a linear actuator to the key so that the pianist will feel the same haptic touch. Of course, the multibody model of the piano action is the one that we have just validated before. We have built a one key demonstrator in which we recognize the key, the sensors, but also a linear actuator to act as a proof of concept. Of course, it is impossible to let you feel the haptic feedback through a video, but I can show you our one key demonstrator in the lab. You also see our multi-body model running in real time in the blue background. I can apply some inputs with my fingers and I can assure you that I feel a specific haptic feeling, a specific touch really close to the acoustic piano touch. Another feature of the piano action is that it contains a lot of settings that the piano tuners have to check. Those settings influence the action behaviors, the sound, but also of course the touch. In our multi-body model, we can change those settings and thanks to our one key demonstrator, we can feel the resulting haptic feedback. If we change, for example, the hammer blow, so the hammer is closer to the string, we feel a different haptic feedback. And if we change the escapement, so the hammer will stay in contact with the string. And finally, if we remove the action of the lever, repetition lever, you see that we have difficulties to repeat note. One could think of a lot of perspective for our work. For example, we could aim towards other piano action, for example, here the vertical piano action included in our one key demonstrator. Or we could apply the same haptic approach with other application, for example, here for haptic steering wheel with a multi body model of a car to reproduce the torque on the steering wheel. We can also use our multi body approach to study historical piano actions, for example, the Stein of the 18th century. But definitely the ultimate goal would be to couple our multibody model with a, a physical model of the string and soundboard sound production so that one could dream of a digital keyboard with an haptic touch and a physically based generated sound.